Hi, I'm Doug and this is Atomic Age Pictures. Today I'm going to talk just a little bit about audio. Now in a previous video about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, I talked about using the Zoom H1 as a preamplifier to boost the signal going into the Blackmagic Camera so that you can turn down the camera's amplifiers and get cleaner audio. Well, there's a similar situation with my double system audio. Now, this is the recorder that I use for doing double system audio when I want to have much cleaner audio than I do sending it directly into the camera. This is a Zoom H4n, and this is a very popular audio recorder with independent filmmakers. Um, it records really high quality audio, but it does have one drawback, and that is the internal amplifiers in this recorder are not great. And when you turn them up to get enough gain to get a quality signal or, or get the levels where you want them, they introduce quite a bit of noise or hiss into the signal. When you pair it with a microphone that doesn't have very high output, you end up getting a pretty noisy signal that you end up having to do a lot of processing to in post in order to get rid of that hiss. Now, the microphone that I've been using for many, many years now is this Asden. It's the SGM-X1. When I bought it, it was popular with independent filmmakers, maybe not so much now with the, the Rode microphones, but at the time it was a, a relatively inexpensive option for um, a shotgun microphone that was pretty good quality. One of the advantages it has is that it does have internal power through a AAA battery. And that makes it nice because you can connect it to a camera that does not provide phantom power or a recorder that does not provide phantom power. But it has a relatively low output. So when you pair this microphone with this recorder, you oftentimes end up with a fairly noisy soundtrack that you have to do a lot of EQ to to get rid of the hiss. So I had been thinking about upgrading from the H4n to the H4n Pro, which by all accounts has better internal amplifiers, which allows you to increase the gain when you have a low input microphone such as the Asden. And it has very clean amplifiers so that you can increase that gain and not get a lot of noise in the signal. Um, but of course, upgrading to a new recorder is another expense, and I'm on a very low budget when I do these sorts of things. So I had been looking for other options, possibly a preamplifier that would boost the signal of the microphone. The problem is, is that a lot of these preamplifiers are actually fairly large. They're a box about this big that you plug a cord into one end and out the other to the recorder, and, and it boosts the signal. They work very well, but they're not exactly portable when you're on a a location and trying to get location audio. And then I was on Mike Delgadio's uh, YouTube channel called Booth Junkies. He does a channel where he's talking about uh, home audio recording for voiceover. Does a lot of microphone reviews and uh, tips and tricks on how to do voiceover. It's a really good channel if you want some information about specific microphones. He's got tons of microphone reviews there. And I'll put a link to his channel down below. Anyway, he was talking about a thing called a FET head which is basically, it looks like the end of an XLR cable, but it's just a little thing about this big that you plug into the microphone, and it uses the phantom power from the recorder to boost the signal coming out of the microphone. The problem with the FET head is that it's $150, and again, it's a little bit out of my budget for that sort of thing. So as I was looking around on the internet, I discovered on eBay a, a small company that makes audio equipment. Um, audio mixers and, and inline mic boosters and all kinds of other things. They're in England, and it's a very small mom and pop company that, that makes these things and sells them on eBay. And what I found that they had is a device very much like a FET head, but at about half the price. The company is called Marty Audio, and this is labeled as the tone machine, but what it really is is just an inline mic booster. What you do is you plug this into your microphone, and then you plug your, your XLR cable here and then run it to your recorder. And the recorder sends its 48 volts phantom power to this device and powers it. And then it boosts the signal um, between 20 and 26 dB uh, to the recorder. So you get a much hotter signal coming off of your microphone and you're able to turn down the amplifiers in the recorder. 
Now, there are a couple of things about this device that you need to be aware of if you're interested in buying one. First of all, you can't use this device with a microphone that requires phantom power. So this is actually ideally suited to the Asden microphone because it has a battery power of its own. Any microphone that has its own self power or does not require phantom power will work with this device. So a Shure SM58 or 57, any dynamic microphone like that, or again, a shotgun microphone like this that has its own power. And it also requires a recorder that will produce 48 volts phantom power because that's how this device gets its own power to boost the signal. So what I found was that in the past, when I was using this microphone and recorder combination, I was having to set my record level to 90, 95%, sometimes 100% in order to get record levels that were around minus 12 dB, which is where you want to be more or less for recording dialogue. When I added this inline mic booster, I was able to reduce the record level in the zoom to about three or four on the record level and get the same audio levels. Listening back to the playback, it's a very clean signal. Uh, the quality is very good. This amplifier doesn't add any noise to the signal and it really produces amazing results. Um, now again, this company is in England and they have an, an eBay page, which again, I will link in the uh, comments down below so you can check it out. But if you have a Zoom H1 and a microphone like the Asden, or even maybe some of the Rode microphones that also have a slightly low output, but have self power, this is a good option for you. And it runs about $58 before shipping. Uh, it's a really, really good option when you're on a budget, can't afford to do an upgrade uh, like I couldn't afford to, and, and you have this similar kind of setup. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, give some sample recordings uh, with and without the inline mic booster so you can get an idea of what it sounds like, and also some audio that's just um, no talking at all so you can hear the noise level that is produced by these amplifiers and how it's greatly reduced when you can add the amplifier in line. Well, welcome to this super high-tech recording booth, also known as a walk-in closet. Actually, a walk-in closet is not a bad idea for a recording booth if you have no other options, uh, because it's usually filled with clothes. It's acoustically dead because there aren't a lot of hard surfaces for the sound to bounce around, and it isolates you from the outside pretty well. So it's not a bad option if you need a voiceover booth. Okay, so we have the Asden microphone connected to the Zoom H4n. There's no uh, amplifier booster in the line, so it's going directly into the recorder. The record level is set at 96%, and we're getting about minus 12 dB of level on the meters. And that's what this sounds like now with the record levels turned almost all the way to the top in the Zoom H4n and the Asden microphone with no inline amplifier. Now I'm going to give you just about 10 or 15 seconds of silence so you can see what it sounds like. Okay, that's about 10 or 15 seconds of silence, so you can hear what the in recorder amplifiers sound like. They're probably a little bit noisy, uh, but that gives you an idea of what it sounds like. And then next, we're going to hear what this setup sounds like with the inline mic booster. Okay, so now we have the amplifier inline, and we now have the gain level on the recorder set to 3, and we are hitting just about negative 12 dB on the VU meters. Um, this is what it sounds like with the inline amplifier in place. And I'm going to give you about uh, 10 or 15 seconds of silence so you can see what it sounds like with the amplifier in line. And that's some silence with the amplifier in line and the recorder set to uh, 3 on the gain, hitting about negative 12 dB when I'm speaking. I apologize if you heard any grumbling from my stomach.
Anyway, that's some samples uh, so you can get an idea of what this amplifier sounds like. Like I said, it does a real good job of giving lots of gain to this recorder so you can turn down the amplifiers in the recorder and get a much cleaner signal. So that's just a little tip for this device. If you have a situation like this where you have the Zoom H4n or another recorder that the amplifiers aren't too great in it, or even going into a camera that provides 48 volts phantom power but doesn't have great internal amplifiers, this might be a good budget solution for you. Again, uh, it came from England, got here very, very fast. I was very surprised. It got here in about seven days, and uh, it really is a terrific option for you. Now, if you're just starting out and you're buying equipment, um, my recommendation would be not to get the Zoom H4n, but the H4n Pro, which has much better internal amplifiers, and you'll get a much better signal with it. Um, and also, you might think about uh, something more like the Rode NTG2, which has its own power, similar to the Asden, which may be a, a little better microphone, probably a little more expensive, though. But if you're in this situation like this, or you have a mic that produces low output, you need to get more signal to your recorder, uh, this is a really good budget option for that. So hopefully this tip is helpful for you. Um, again, this is Atomic Age Pictures, and if you like this video, go ahead and hit like, and subscribe, and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there are new videos. And again, I'm gonna put links to all of the stuff that I've talked about down below uh, so that you can check those items out. Uh, again, this is Doug, and thanks for watching.